Good morning. It's Sunday, January 29th. This happens to be my son's birthday. But I'm not going to talk about that, other than to wish him a happy birthday. So I have been reading articles up to this point about Tyree Nichols and the case where five police officers beat him to death over a traffic stop. Now, I did not realize that all five officers were black and Tyree Nichols was black. And I watched the video and it was a horrible watch. The video starts with them pulling him out of his automobile and he was accused of reckless driving. And then there were shots in this video of the officers beating him up, getting him on the ground, pepper spraying him, and just general violence that didn't stop for a long time. The video itself was only like eight minutes, nine, eight, between eight and nine minutes. But they had him under control for over a half an hour. And Nichols got up the first time they got him on the ground and started beating him up. He got up and tried to run away. And he got someplace, maybe 50 yards away or something, and then they got him on the ground again and continued to beat him up. And one of the officers accused him of reaching for his gun and stood proudly there and said, nobody reaches for my gun and gets away with it. And they pounded this guy. He's lying on the ground. They turn him over. They get his hands behind his back. They push his face into the ground. And they're kicking him, constantly kicking him and constantly giving him a beating. And then they would step back for a second and he would say, leave me alone, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, you know, I'm hurt. And then they would start beating him again. And I was shocked by this display. And I don't think that anybody who's sane and watches this video could ever come to the conclusion that this was just an out-and-out -out murder. And they're giving these police officers manslaughter charges. When this was murder, there was no question that they were trying to hurt this guy. Of course I'm going to say that they really didn't want to kill him because now they're arrested and facing these murder charges. But there's five of them this is not a one-on-one -on -one situation. Five of them kicking and punching and twisting his arms and pepper spraying him. And he's lying on the ground. And it takes a half an hour for the ambulance to show up. Just a horrible, horrible scene. I don't recommend anybody watching it. And it was just the sheer fact that I heard heard that the officers were black. The town is Memphis, Tennessee, which is not one of the great cities in this, uh, in this country. It has a very high death rate from gun violence. It is not a safe city. And I was surprised by the fact that there were five black police officers there. Not that there shouldn't be black police officers on, in, on any police force, but I was surprised that this entire episode took place black on black. And I don't know why people, police officers, are treating people of color differently, even though they happen to be the same color. So we have ha had protests around this country for years, and it seems to me that that would make a dent on the way the police officers act. That would make a dent. George Floyd and all of those other killings, Rodney King, those killings have been going on for years, discriminatory killings. And yet the police haven't seemed to take notice, watch it so carefully what they do. Yes, maybe that 
they have a fear. If they're not tough and if they're not fierce, they could be the victim. I could understand that. I could understand that. I think there's just a lack of training. A lot of training needs to be given to these people. It's not easy to be a police officer out there on the street taking care of the city, working in areas where people despise you. It has to be a very difficult thing to do. And I think that maybe we need more training and more examinations before people take a job, can get a job. What would be wrong with every one of these police officers seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist before they take the job to ensure that these people have the mental capacity to control themselves in a difficult situation? Clearly, you have five guys, all of them contributing, not one of them saying, hey, guys, take it easy, let's not do this. Every one of them was beating up on this poor guy, Tyree Nichols, lying on the ground. I cannot express the horror that you see when you watch this video. And it's not clear, and the voices are not very clear. But the one thing that I definitely heard is, he reached for my gun. Nobody reaches for my gun. Is that a man with a rational reason to beat somebody to death with compatriots helping him out? No, this was a horrible, horrible crime. And I don't think any punishment will make a dent in the way that police are trained in the future. And it won't make a dent in the population's view of police officers. There will always be a group in our society that hates police officers just because they're police officers. Now these are men who have taken on a very difficult task and women who have taken on a very difficult task policing this nation and the shape of this nation right now. So I recommend that Unless you have a strong stomach, don't watch this video. I don't know how many of you have watched it already, but it's a horrible video, and it's a terrible disgrace, and it's out there for the whole world to see how poorly this particular group of police officers act. So I leave you with that this morning, a horrible story. 29-year-old man beaten to death, spends three days in the hospital before he dies. Not a good picture of the United States at all. Not a good picture of policemen. Not a good picture of what's going on in our society. So think about that. Have a great day. Bye.